Welcome back, everybody, to RimWorld. We are currently in the dead of the Inferno. It is the 8th of December, halfway through what we can expect to be eventually 220 degrees. Now, let's just pretend for a second somebody, last series, set the Inferno temperature to 300 degrees and forgot to change it back before, say, for example, we start a new series. And let's say, for example, he continued on with this episode as if nothing happened and everybody burns to death horribly because 220 degrees was chosen for a reason. Now, if you also like to entertain hypotheticals like that, there's a link in the top comment to an episode where we explore it. And I definitely didn't accidentally lose. <laughs> Before we dive too far into the the real 100% canon universe of RimWorld here, I want to quickly say that the channel is currently switching crowdfunding platforms over to Coffee. We're, we're cancelling Patreon and moving over to there instead. So for those of you interested in supporting the channel, or perhaps those of you who are supporting the channel right now and don't want to see YouTube also turn my channel into a flaming wreck, then please go ahead and check that out if you have the time to. So, let's... Get on with it. Let's blitz ahead. Let's blitz ahead. Let's go. There's a couple of changes I want to make before we get too deep into things. The first one is I want to adjust their schedules so that we are basically running. I think nothing but recreation is probably not a bad idea. Um, mainly so that if they want to do things to increase their mood, they can do it whenever the hell they want. The exception to that, of course, being we need to give them a good amount of sleep at night time all around the same time. Otherwise, people are going to be coming in and out of the buildings, knocking doors down and, and climbing over each other quite literally to get into bed. And it's going to wake people up and they're going to be not very happy about that. So by unifying that, it should keep things like that to a minimum. The other thing I thought as well is that these coolers are doing a very, very good job of keeping the base cool, strangely enough. If we want to uh, getting a little bit of easy recreation here, it wouldn't be a bad idea to stick down a horseshoes peg. Um, just so they've got something else, you know, like a variation to to their current recreation. I imagine they'll probably want to play that for quite a while, won't they? Just to, again, get away from the... What is it? Uh, Chester Cerebral play, right? Yeah, okay. So just to get that bit of recreation variety. It's not much, but it is something. And we're not going to use the wood for passive coolers. So let's be reasonable here. And the other thing I want to talk about very briefly is... With regards to immortals that we capture, so this has actually been a comment. It was a comment that was talked about on yesterday's episode, and it was a comment that's been discussed in a few of the comment sections for the episodes about whether or not with immortals that we capture, we should just feed them immediately to either Sharamus Fingers or somewhere in this list is Robo Daddy. Mainly because they're kind of our three stars. You know, they're from previous series. We brought them back for a, for a round two here. It seems weird to... Introduce the characters to the colony, like for example Nadine here, who is a level 2 immortal, a uh, regular immortal. That would immediately make her better than Sharamus and Fingers. And I worry that having too many immortals in the colony is going to make the game quite easy, because they're not affected by the weather like all the other characters here. And it would add a lot more challenge to things if we weren't just collecting immortals. Because eventually, after enough cycles of this, even if we keep failing the heat waves and the cold snaps... Eventually, we can just have a team of immortals that can just die and then resurrect when it's over. I think in the interest of challenge, it is probably not a bad idea to go along with the suggestion in the comments and to actually immediately kill any immortals. Still capture everybody that we find and try and recruit everybody that we can. But when immortals turn up, we immediately sacrifice them to Sharamus Fingers and Robo Daddy. That also gives those guys a bit more of a key... A key component to the colony that isn't, again, just going to be superseded by a random person turning up. Speaking of which, who have we got as our current leader? Beta has been elected as the leader of the Unmortals with four votes. So a democracy is that? 50%? And I assume they can't vote for themselves. Oh, I mean, if they can't vote for themselves, that's fine, isn't it? Uh, Vox Populi, Vox Dei. The focus skill is medical. That's going to come in really handy when we're all locked in a tomb. I said that, but please don't get the plague. <laughs> please don't get the plague or anything. We've got plenty of medicine. Sure. We can't stay. Oh, dear. That's unlucky for you, Nag. Oh, dear. Wearing a scarf, too. Summer's... Oh, you picked a bad day, my friend. We probably want to start limiting their activities into this room. So I think what we'll do then is we'll go to the storage here and we'll just allow herbal medicine. Uh, we'll haul of, all of that in here and then get it on lockdown. Uh, let's go ahead and... I think I said it's critical priority. Let's set that to preferred. So they'll start hauling the stuff into here. Um, have we got room for the beats as well, do you think? Let's see if we can put some beats on here. We, we have room for one more stack, so that'll work. Um, raw food and vegetarian and beets. Now, I haven't unforbidden the package survival meals yet. 
for the simple reason that they can still eat the raw beets for a little while. Um, can we put beets on here? Or is it, it was specifically just meals? That's a little annoying. Uh, they can still eat the beets, and it'll be a couple of days before they start starving. Every day might count here. We do have a lot of meals, to be fair. We've got 76. Are they going to eat 76 meals? I mean, that's 10 meals a day. We've got 80 people. I mean, that's 10 meals each, roughly, um, over the course of... Oh, I don't know, actually. Over the course of six days. Yeah, that's, that's about right. Okay, so we do actually want to starve our guys then. That's fine. <laughs> More war crimes, you say. Brain risk is getting a little bit too high for comfort at this point. So I've gone ahead and unforbidden all the meals. Inessa and Tapia have already just broken down. I think they're actually on food binge, so I should really forbid that again. Um, not that it'll stop them if they're on food binge. So I guess I'll just let them go wild at this point. Things are looking okay. Now, bear in mind, the default heat temperature for the Yeo's Planet mod is 220 degrees outdoors. So, we're looking at another 40 degrees. We've still got three heaters turned off. Uh, three coolers, I should say. So, assuming we get no breakdowns, assuming we get no fire, assuming we get no earthquakes, assuming we get no meteors, you know, all those things that we get very commonly, <laughs> we should be absolutely fine. Nothing to worry about. It's not ideal. That's not ideal. That was a thunder. That, that, was, that was just straight up a thunderstorm, which has... Destroyed our grid. Oh, and now it's going to spread to the kitchen. <laughs> you motherfucker. I can't believe you do this. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, really? Well, let's hope it stops there. It's going to probably destroy... Oh, probably like both of these two southern wind turbines, isn't it? It's probably going to take out that one as well, because it'll just spread along the power line. Ah, oh, there we go. Just what I was waiting on. We got meteors dropping down there, too. Quite far away. Okay, nothing to worry about in that regard. Yeah, so the lightning obviously hit all over the place, but it just happens to hit right next to one of those wind turbines. Extreme unluckiness, once again, is I was struck there. Fantastic. Oh, that has just torched the whole base, isn't it? All those beds, dining room, the whole thing is gone. Come on. Oh, for fuck's sake, really. It's going to spread along the whole power grid. I think we're actually going to lose the whole base here. Is that... <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, everything's gone. So the second we get out of here, we are just going to have to start rebuilding again. On the plus side, though, look at this. This is something to really write home about. We've got another 9 degrees on the potential outdoor temperature. Taking us up to the... to the, Oh, another 10 degrees now. Obviously, because it's turning nighttime. Uh, taking us up to the maximum 220. Our central room is fluctuating between 20 and 30 degrees. We've still got one more cooler that we can enable. Oh. <laughs> Uh, you'll, you'll be fine, right? You're a, you're a mortal. You'll be fine. Yeah, nothing to worry about. You've got two lung infections anyway. Um, wow, that did wipe out our entire power grid. I can't believe that. That was uh, some incredible unluckiness. It didn't destroy the batteries, to be fair. So we've got that going for us because they're quite expensive. But anyway, we also don't have any components. Oh, and now it's had its way with us. The, the rain's here. Good. <gasps> Can we not shoot Robo Daddy with a shotgun? There's one more day. Come on, people. You can do this. You can, it's 12 more hours. That's all they've got. Oh, look. They're all breaking down. Oh, we're out of food. They're all breaking down at the end here. Don't, 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 don't. Come on. 12 more hours. Then you guys can run free. You can frolic in the fields of charcoal. Excuse me, brother. You said 200 degrees. 220 degrees. That is uh, 230 degrees C. I've been lied to. Is that because... I mean, I don't know why it would have gone that high. I guess that's the nighttime temperature. Maybe on the day of the 15th at midnight, it hits 220. Then it increases 10 more degrees and then comes back down. Um, we're free. It's over. It's over, but at what's it cost? I'll tell you what's it cost. The entire fucking base has burned down again, because of course it has. We should probably turn these coolers off pretty sooner. Because <laughs> huh, now it's going to get very cold very fast, because it's it's just turned the first day of spring. Wow, there we are. Um, I would say on the plus side, we've got food. We have no food. We have no food. We have nothing. I guess get to sow in the field. Should we go out and hunt just straight away? I what, We can't even butcher. What am I talking about? We can't even butcher if we do hunt. We're just going to have to go out there and eat raw animals. On the plus side, the stockpile survived this time, which is just a, a game changer. A survival pods, packaged survival meals. No. <gasps> Four of them. It's a race. <laughs> survival of the fittest, boys. Dash. Who's going to get there? Fingers in the lead. Look at him go. Fingers and Robo Daddy are absolutely in the lead. Those meals, they're getting eaten. Who, who, who's closely, closely followed by Boone? Bait is coming in as well. That's obviously the race over because it's only going to reserve by the four. Wow, there we go. Well done, people. 
I, I feel like I should have told the immortals specifically not to eat the food on account of the immortals already needing food. We can eat a rat. A tasty rat, you say? Uh, did I... Yeah, there we go. Rab's going to eat well tonight. Excellent. A good meal for Rab. So we've got one ship chunk there. I'm pretty sure we had several ship chunks full, didn't we, during that period? Um, so we got here. Come on, show me some more ship chunks, brother. Uh, we got one there. Okay, that's not ideal. Do we not have any shuttle pods? Nothing, really. Wow. Okay, so now we've got to try and rebuild our entire power grid using two ship chunks worth of components. And I feel like that's incredibly optimistic. Um... Wow, I just can't believe this is insane. Our prisoner sounds like they just came back to life. They did. Fantastic news. On the plus side, we have enough limestone to rebuild the kitchen's infrastructure. Um, how much was that? 40? Oh, you know what? We might have enough here to finish off this as well. It's another 85. It's going to be close, but we should be able to get the majority of the kitchen dining room area done. Um, obviously, we don't need one there. That's fine. Okay. And then, obviously, now that we're taking kind of the... the, the prerogative not to build anything out of wood ever again because it's uh it's traitorous it's tricksy and all it ever does is end in tears we do have a base though. we have somewhere for them to sleep it's a barracks it's horrible to look at but it's it's acceptable the wildlife is coming in okay this is good this is good oh you know what just hunt all of this stuff except for the boom rats obviously we're not interested in that too much we need to get as soon as feasibly possible a butcher table um i'm thinking oh you know what? we've got enough steel for a steel butcher's table so it's not too terrible we will have to cook off a campfire for a while though because, again, we've got no components, so I can't do anything about that. Um, right, so get rid of the wooden butcher's table. Let's get down a steel one instead. It's under culinary now, isn't it? Uh, let's go. Should we go electric? <laughs> we haven't got any power, so that's a little optimistic. Um, steel butcher's table still requires wood, apparently, but that's okay. And then we'll get down a campfire. I feel like we've regressed massively, but we have survived. That's the key thing. And the raids aren't going to be so difficult because our colony wealth has been wiped out on account of our entire base burning down. Why? Really? Oh, just let me have something. Oh, come on. Oh, it's okay. We've still got a room for them. Haha, <laughs> it's, it's a barracks. It's not the best, but uh, <laughs> let's be cheery about things and optimistic. Oh, by the way, uh, your only room just exploded. Please go and put that out because that is an insulated room and we have fire in there. The tape is dying. Tape is actually dying. Rescue him. So someone fucking rescue him, for Christ's sake. In a safe temperature. Oh, it's 172 degrees. Of course, we can't even rescue him because the beds are in an oven heated room. Hold the door open. Will that make much of a difference? No, it's just natural temperature transfer there, isn't it? I like that they consider 120 degrees a safe room for patients. Schedule. No more recreation. The time for play is over, old man. Now it is the time for fear. For when the raiders turn up, we are so screwed. We have no meals, and there's Sharamus there playing horseshoes. Ten components from one ship junk. Yikes. That's a lot. Um, is that ten components from the other one as well? I have no idea, because I have no idea where it was on the map. Um, get that shit hauled. Okay, that's fantastic news. So we might be able to rebuild... I mean, how many wind turbines we got? One, two, three, four there. Okay. We can rebuild four wind turbines, and we have enough for the stove as well. Um... Let's put a hard pause on that battery in that case. Let's go ahead and cancel that heater. Anything that's going to swallow up unnecessary components. Um, you know, I think that is everything. I think we're fine. Nadine has died causing... Oh, you were the immortal. Oh, well, they'll come back to life in no time. Sorry, what are our builders actually doing here? Oh, to be fair, the other one is Tapir, and Tapir is um, well-cooked at this point. Boone died of an infection. He was tended. He was tended. Inessa chomped Boone with her teeth. That was the best we could do. That was with herbal medicine as well. Um, to be fair, that was also a 59% 10 quality. There's only so much you can do in a dark shed. That is our first big loss, isn't it, Boone? Um, I'm sure we've buried people before now, but that one's a pretty... That's a pretty tragic one. That's a pretty tragic one. Um, oh, that must be our first colonist that's died then. Really? Wow, okay. That's not too bad for two years of gameplay. Um... All of which has just been cataclysmic, to put it lightly. Um, let's go ahead and get him buried then. Just dig a dig a shallow grave for him up here. The long dear Boone. It was not the heat nor the food that killed you, but in fact an infection from one of your fellow colonists biting you. Tragic. <laughs> On the plus side, we got a bit more steel out of that now that uh, it's our prisoner coming back to life. Should we... 
I'll leave it. I'll leave it up to you guys in the comment section then whether or not we should execute the immortals. I'm all for it. I think it's fine. I think it works out pretty well. I think it's a fairly compelling decision to make with regards to keeping our main characters relevant at all times. It also allows us to see some pretty interesting effects like the apex immortals, which we've actually never seen before. Butcher creature, do forever. Fingers, butcher away, my man. Um, Sharamus, you are going to stay awake and you are not going to stop until. What do you mean you're out of components? What the fuck did you spend them on, you crazy man? What did you spend those on? Hang on, hang on, hang on. No, 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 no. Where did the components go if not... Hmm. Two, four, six, eight. But one of those hasn't been delivered to. And there were ten components that came out of that shuttle. So where are they? And more to the point, what happened to the other shuttle's components? Where have they ended up? That's very strange. A case of a missing components now. Oh, a cooler. I mean, reasonably, that is... That is important. Yeah, I, I can't debate that. Um, let's go ahead and disallow this as a stockpile then. Um, particularly because they're dragging all the meat into here, which is just not... That's that's not where meat go. In that case as well, I'll cancel all deliveries to the kitchen and we'll focus on... We'll focus on turning this into, into a usable zone. Let's also get down and campfire them very temporarily, even though I'm sure we're not far off of being able to build the... Um, I'm, I'm sure we're not far off of being able to build... You know... A stove. That's it. Sorry, the word... I, I don't even want to think about ovens anymore, given the given the inferno. Tapia is going to die. Tapia, what are you doing? Corpse obsession, but you need tending. Extreme. 88%, 78%. I think we're going to lose Tapia as well. Tapia was scorched from the, from the fire. That would suck. That would suck. Let's get you saved as soon as possible, please. Party is finished. You guys are having a party. Is there anything worth celebrating? I, I, I ask you that genuinely. 89%. Okay. Tapia might make it. It's going to be bloody close, though. No. 97% infection. He's dead. Goodbye, Tapia. Two down. Two down. And the tragic thing is, neither of them were because of the Inferno. Wow. That's pretty horrible. But, I mean, to be fair, if we get through plus 220 degrees with everything that happened there, I'm not too upset about that. I think that this is the best survival ratio we've had so far. I was back on. Oh, very nice. Good work, Sharamus. Okay. Can't fault him for that one. The crops are getting planted very, very fast. You can see they're, they're working extremely quickly on that one. Shouldn't take too long to get all that stuff down. Then we can really focus on stone cutting again. Getting about the infrastructure. More importantly, maybe even building them their own dedicated houses. That would be something I would love to do this cycle. We can keep this here. The only caveat to that is that we will need to... Maybe replace the coolers for heaters or alternatively find a way to use both. I mean, what I can really see that we're going to need to do is, is clone this, create a copy of it. And instead of, again, using coolers, we rely on heaters. But that all depends on whether or not we can... I mean, realistically, it all depends on whether or not we can get enough components. That's the only limiting factor, I think. Nice. There we go. Okay. Simple meals are fine... Meals, lavish meals. Obviously, we'll reverse the order of that because I would kind of... I think I would like some lavish meals right now. Anything to help bring the mood up a little bit because they are not doing well. On the plus side, we have to cook a lot less meals on account of having far less mouths to feed. Um, can we... I, I mean, we can't cook lavish meals, so it's not It's not a question. There's, there's, there's definitely no debate there. And there goes all the raw meat that we hunted. Shit, that was fast. Um, fortunately, Sharmus didn't quite get this room finished. If he's quick, we should be able to get most of it. 360. Sharamus, if you dare walk away... No. Oh, you wouldn't. Come on. Give me a fucking break. Four bricks short of a... Right, you know what? Take it, take these apart then. Take it from elsewhere. No, my meat. Brother, my meat. Okay, we're fine. We're not fine. There's not enough power. These wind turbines. I I hate them. I hate them. Wind turbines are stinky. Get uh, Please. My meat. Brother, that's the last of our foodstuffs. How are we looking? We kept 75. Brilliant. No. No. It's five. It's fine. That's This is the game sending us a, a get well soon g gift. Thank you. Um, fingers, get your rifle out for God's sake. Kill some, kill some people to make ourselves feel better at this point. Okay, come on. Line up. It's a shooting gallery. It doesn't have the same thrill to it anymore, you know? It just doesn't have the same thrill to it anymore. Yep, there we go. They're dead. Unbelievable. <laughs> when even them immortal? That's the big question. Uh, nope. Nope. Well, they might be. They might just bleed out here. Um, c can I... Sorry? I don't like that sound of that. That sounds terrible. 
EMP kill switch. What do you mean? It means if he's hit by an EMP, he will he will die. That's fantastic. I like that a lot. Um, that's war crimes. That is war crimes. I like that. Uh, don't don't get too distracted. What I was about to say is, let's not worry about prisoners. I I, I feel like there's so much to worry about right now, and prisoners are the 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 bottom of that list. Um, you I. Uh, Ah, okay. We'll leave it. We'll leave it. No. The plague. That was a thing I said I didn't want. This storyteller is... I mean, he just doesn't pull any punches. When you're down, he will keep kicking. And he, and he, and he, he does keep kicking. Kicked. I, I am well and truly kicked, brother. Please, no more. <laughs> um, what was I going to check there? I don't know why I'm looking at the mod settings. I want to go health. I'm just that bamboozled. I'm just that bamboozled. So it was Sharamus. It was... Fingers. Okay, that's good news. Sharma's fingers was not Rubber Daddy. Who was the other one? Inessa. Inessa's great plant skill. I can't afford to lose Inessa. Sharma's fingers. Who gives a shit? If they die of the plague, they come back to life. Inessa, though, is top priority. Okay. Get to bed. Um, robot father. Clean this room. Let's tidy this up, and then let's tend to her afterwards. 87%. That's what I like to see. 85% on fingers. Sharma's is just... <laughs> <laughs> that right there makes it all worth it. That makes every every ounce of suffering worthwhile when you get to see that face peeking above his little sheets. Now yeah, let's take a second to to dial in. Let's just let's just calm, keep it paused, and let's make a game plan here. So first things first. I think we need food. We need food from an, a cooking area that isn't situated on on flame and fire. We can't build a good cooking area because we have nothing to build it out of. We have 91 slate. We could use that. It would make the base look messy, but it is better than having nothing. I think we can all agree. So let's start with that. Um, don't bother out. I mean, I would love to get things like doormats down. To be fair, we did hunt a lot of muffalo, so we might be able to stretch to a doormat. Um, so first things first, and let's plan out the structure of our base. Let's take things a little bit slower for five minutes just so I can... Just so I can catch my breath more than anything else. Slate door. Oh, that's a steel door. That's acceptable. Um, if we've got enough slate after that, I mean, that's not going to be too much. right? How much slate can we use? 7 by 5 is 90. Um, oh, that room is slightly larger. It's still only 100. We've got 91 bricks, and we haven't obviously filled in the entire thing. We should have enough to also finish off that room. This is going to be a dining area. This is fairly top priority. Forget about the dresser. That's unnecessary. Forget about the chest table, too. Let's just get a dining room down so they can eat with a table, thus preventing the biggest war crime of all. The research room is fine. That's not an issue. Um, we could tear up the floors in the prison. We could also take away the horseshoe pin, which prisoners don't use because, uh, of course, we don't have a mod that allows them to use that. I just really did it to make them feel a little bit better about their situation. We'll go ahead and remove that. Where can I reclaim resources from right now? We could remove a bed. Uh, we, we could reinstall this stuff in here, actually into this kind of living zone. Uh, and, and, and actually get someone on cleaning too wouldn't hurt. But while we've still got trees to chop resources to deliver, things to collect, people to bury. I would rather not waste too much time on on that. Um, okay. And, and the schedule is fine, right? He's just going for a walk because he's mad. Uh, no, he, he's gone mad. Sad wandering. Okay, that's okay as well. Give him a little bit of catharsis. Moods aren't going to be too terrible. I don't think. You know, when Sharamus is awake, how are we looking right now? The man's got the plague and he's only in a minor break risk. That's okay. Uh, Fingers is absolutely fine. He's also got the plague, but he is, he is okay. Um, darkness in this room is actually one of the big killers. And that's down to the cable being cut. Got it. Okay. Uh, well, let's... It's got to be a better way to do this, but I'm just going to run a cable across like that. Um, if we've got anybody else capable of building, that's a, that's a real downside to losing Tapir. Yet we have no one else capable of construction. Good God. Um, well, Sharmus is going to have to get up. Again, he's got the plague. I would like him to get over it as soon as possible, but I would rather also get a lot of this. I can't. I can't win. You can't do this. Well, they got all of our crops, so there's absolutely no chance we can survive next season. Uh, no, there is, of course. We'd have to grow it very fast. Do I have to worry about these plants all dying, or are they... I mean, that's just killing the plants repeatedly. We're just wasting our time trying to grow... Okay. Um, disallow sowing. Let them all die. Oh, unbelievable. Wild Woman wandered in. I did notice that. Don't worry. We've got Whale. Red Whale Whale. Um, perfectionist Jealous Brawler. 
Their only skill of note is 10 intellectual. We don't need researchers. Whale, stay a wild woman for all I care. I'm going to turn down bed rest for the immortals because we are missing on a lot of opportunity here by having them sitting around when they really don't need to be. Inessa, acceptable. No. What are you talking about? Okay, it's more tri it's tribal. It's tribal. It's tribal. It's just the one, the one set of raiders. It is. Five tribal. Okay. Everybody but Inessa then. Let's get you squatted up as soon as possible. We've got five versus five. We've got highly powered rifles and burlap clothing. I mean, the, these people are essentially wearing... <laughs> I mean, with that much burlap, that's, that's essentially just Kevlar at this point, right? So we should be okay. Get sniper out. See what we can do here. This is probably just going to be another very simple... Yeah, there we go. Uh, any of you with immortality need to go? Nope, we've got nothing of note there. Okay, back to work. Never stop. Orbital trader available. Let's send Robin Eddie. I don't believe we've got anything worth trading, but it's worth just taking a look. Cataphract armor. I'd love it. There's no point. Components. Yes, I'll take the lot. Um, sell them all this crap. Yeah, sell them. Sell them everything. Fuck it. Uh, we got any tools that make them in handy? No, certainly not. Definitely none that we can afford. Um, sell them all this crap. Oh, this is this is pretty good. The weapons are bringing in a nice a nice amount of money here. Toxic grenades we don't need. Bulletproof vests we've got better than that. Ballistic goggles are actually pretty good, so I'm gonna hang on to those. Um, I'm gonna get rid of all of this. I think that's okay. Recon helmet, get rid of it. I I want to start saving some money so that we can buy components. At the end of the day, having a working freezer and a working base is more important than being able to potentially avoid some gunshots, particularly when three of our people are immortal. Uh, I'm okay with that. Yeah. Should we buy a little bit of medicine too? Because that could quite literally be the difference between life and death for old Plaguey. I don't remember her name. She's Plaguey now. Inessa. There we are. Okay. Components. Six of them. It's not ideal. It's not ideal, but it is something. Okay. Lights are back on in the living area. That's quite nice. The... The kitchen's getting cleaned up pretty fast. I think that's because... Oh no, I haven't even set cleaning to be a particularly high priority. They just don't have much else to do right now. That's that's good. That's a good sign. So is the drought... The drought's still going. I mean, I can plant more crops, but they are just going to die. Um, we could try and combat it. So we could go allow sowing and actually drop uh, growing down to priority three. So it takes precedent over cleaning. Sure, the crops have a chance to die, but they might not. Oh. I'll take that back. <laughs> huh. Um... They keep going. Maybe we can beat the drought. I mean, there are obviously some crops surviving here. And more importantly, if we plant it now, the ones that survive might... Don't break my wind turbines down. The ones that survive might then... Might then still flourish. Let's say, for example, these ones survive this poison. They're 59% grown. That's better than nothing. I'm going to go for deep drilling. The reason I'm going to go for deep drilling is we need chunks to be able to... I mean, obviously, deep drilling is just useful to have. Um, but chunks would be fantastic because then we could actually make some more buildings... The only thing I can do right now as an alternate to deep drilling is mining mountains. Like, getting everybody to mine mountains to get chunks to then turn into blocks. And that seems like a wasteful experience. Oh, okay, that's fine. Oh, that was one of our people then. It's the, drought's, the drought's still on. Um, but again, a lot of crops are actually seemingly surviving here. Well, Illuminator from Cisneros. Ah, now if we rescue this guy and release him, we could be looking at enough of an alliance to be able to in an alliance. I didn't really phrase it very well. Um, you might be able to call in trade caravans. And trade caravans mean Peter has been elected. I wouldn't have. Uh, I, I would not have voted for this man given the tragedy they're in right now. This might give us the opportunity to call in trade caravans, which in turn will provide more tasty, tasty components for my hungry, hungry component mouth. Dining room's looking good though, huh? Doormats, please. Doormats on every door. Uh, what have we got? Blue fur. How much blue fur have we got? Fucking 110, is that all? You could go five doormats. So I think we go one, two, three, four, five. That works fine. No, we, we didn't really need one there, but I guess just to double down on making sure the kitchen is clean. So you, oh, you're healed. Oh my God, and you've got food poisoning, yikes. Okay, 22% on that one. I wonder why you've got food poisoning with such a sterile kitchen. <laughs> um, yeah, this is why we need bricks as well. So you can obviously put down some floors. Wow. The crops seem, again, they're kind of kind of staying strong. Just hoping this drought will... There we go. That's exactly what I was hoping for. So we basically got all these fields sown now and saved us a little bit of time there. I uh, just stop. Right. Cisneros. Sis, Sis Heal him. How's he doing? Infection minor. We're looking at pretty good quality, but not fantastic. We're staying just slightly ahead of the infection there. So that's not too bad at all. Gifts. Uh, who's speaking to? There. Trade. Slaver. Oh, God, we don't need any more people. I mean, we do, but we can't afford it. Well, I guess we can. 
Why don't I want new people? It's just too much to manage. Okay, hang on. Hard worker, too smart. I like that. Uh, cooking them nine. You know what? That could come in handy. Who else we got here? Vera. You are royal jelly addiction. I feel like that's a bad idea. Okay. Um, you're also an artist. Don't really care. Uh, <laughs> Kato is psychically deaf. Industrious is a fantastic trait. Animals, medical. They're, lo they're low tier skills. Um, you've got Zudza. Fast walker. Hard worker. 13 social. Oh, bollocks. Oh, damn. It's a shame you're not slightly better at quite literally anything. I might buy Dutrol. Do troll, go brolag, stew keeper, hard worker, and too smart. Hard worker is obviously fantastic. Um, it's twenty percent bonus, and then too smart, faster learning, higher mental break. I mean, the combination of that is essentially just industrious with a little bit of extra bonus to learning speed. I like that. Um, go good plant skill as well. All around decent guy. Bring him on board. Are they got any components? No, we can sell them components, which is absolutely never going to happen in a thousand years. Um, maybe I should. We just uh, oh, we can't afford it. Tragic. Oh, we could afford one. Yeah, do it. Just do it. Just do it, brother. For old times. For old times, you know? You know how it is. You know, back back, back in the old times. Where, where'd it go? Back in the old times. When Robert Daddy was on his own. Many days that needed filling. You gotta fill it somehow. You gotta fill it somehow. <laughs> okay. Um, that was just, uh, that was obviously just, it's just a work speed bonus. Um, that's all that is. It's just faster, faster work speed there. <clears throat> YouTube, thank you. Right, okay, deep drilling is done. I'm quite excited to see what we can actually get out of this. It's rare that we go for deep drilling so early, but I feel like it's it's a necessary evil. Um, we need a we need a, a driller a driller scanner. What are they called? A, a, uh, what are they called? Wait, do we need to research? We need to research something else, don't we? A thousand. That's it. The ground penetrating scanner. Get that one as soon as possible. The base itself is not bad. You know, we have infrastructure. Oh come on, we don't have the components for that, do we? Oh, we do. How many more components we got? Five. Yikes, this is getting very expensive. These components are, are killing me. Okay. We're good. Four left. Um, I, I've specifically forbidden that. Actually, I think I'm just going to straight up cancel it. Because uh, it's not it's not worth it. What have we got with regards to chunks, stones? Nothing. Nothing at all. I've got nothing to build out of. I've, I've designated all trees on the map to be cut down. And we've got 36 wood. Um, and, and, and to be honest, I don't think I want to build anything out of wood ever again. We'll take this apart. Use it as tiling for a floor. Might not be a terrible idea. Let's go ahead and put the battery in there then, where it won't do any damage if it blows up. There's a lot of steel on the map. I'm thinking we just concrete over all the floors. It'll look terrible, but it's beauty minus one. Do you think we should just pave tile over everything, especially if they're going to be in there for quite a while, huh? I think that's probably not a bad plan. How much is that going to... It's not even that expensive. Concrete over the whole thing. And then we can upgrade it later on if necessary. But that's better than constantly getting food poisoning. I'm, I'm in fact going to wake Sharmus and get him to do that right away. 300 silver. Oh, they give us 300 silver back. Was that like a discount? Like a, like a party fund? Thank you. Appreciate that one, my friend. So I've put a pause as well on the steel mining. Uh, the steel automated mining. And I'll, I'll just kind of do it manually from now on. Just because we've got our regular people from where I've given them a higher priority of mining. Across the board so that we can get more chunks. It is resulting in everybody going out doing mining that's a bit... A bit unnecessary. Um, we'll just do it as is needed from now on. M Moody. Was Moody one of ours? I get the strange feeling that Moody was one of ours. Am I going... We had another person called Moody. I don't remember. Um, rescue him and join your colony. Three turrets, one more to two enemies. Um, until I've got a base, that's a strong no from me, fella. Actually, not bad. I I'm pretty happy with that. We've now got a, a fireproof base from now on. Um, we might want to swap out the floors actually down here too. Let's get to work then, building them separate bedrooms. We could use steel walls. We do have a mod that makes steel not flammable in this pack. Uh, I hope. <laughs> uh, do we have any steel walls so I can double check? Well, steel doors, that would probably tell us. Flammability, 0%. Steel is 0. Okay, we could build steel walls. Uh, it's not going to be ideal, but just giving them separate bedrooms... Permanent separate bedrooms with paved tiles. I mean, it doesn't have to be impressive. Put a bed in there, put a dresser, put a lamp. They'll be happy. They'll be much happier than they are right now being crammed into the insulation chamber. A sad, industrial, brutalist village we're building over here. Just steel walls with steel floors and a steel bed. And you'll be happy that the state has provided you that. Because I'll be honest, the state has tried. The state has tried and failed. And this is what the state is forced to do. <laughs> um... Let's not let's not put doors on the south side. That's a, that's okay. Thank you, thank you, Sharmus. I appreciate the uh, appreciate the effort there, friend. But to be honest, it's going it's going nowhere. Caravan animals. We got chocolate, 
We've got gold. We've got luciferium. Ooh, okay. Safe dose interval. Never safe. Unless you inject it into an immortal. I know that we've floated that idea before and I've shot it down. But I, we've, we do have an immortal to test it on now in the form of Nadine. So I'm going to inject it into her and I'll see what, if when she dies it resets. It could be very, very good for... For our for, for, for immortality based japes. It's the bison dealt with. And there's our Luciferium. Very nice. That is not bad. For for 15 days, having gotten out of chaos. Pure chaos there. It's not terrible. We've got a livable base where everybody's got their own separate rooms in a little neighborhood. We've got a, a central living zone. We'll put another door on the top here because that would obviously make a lot more sense. We'll put one there. Um, and then let's also reinstall that to there as well. We've got central living zone. We've got chocolate. We've got drugs. We've got chess. And I think things are going fine. We've bounced back pretty well. I think. I don't know. I'll leave it down to you guys to judge on that one. Thank you all for watching. Where's my outro? Thank you. <laughs> So as I talked about at the start of the video, I have recently changed crowdfunding platforms. There's a multitude of reasons I've done so. The main one is it is a lot fairer on, on the supporters of the channel because this platform doesn't charge them fees up front to essentially, to, to essentially join like Patreon does. So this is obviously going to cost me a, a fortune because uh, I very much doubt people will want to switch over. But YouTube isn't doing so badly right now that they are ramming every video full of a crazy amount of adverts. And I figured if any time is going to be a good time to try and give something back to the support, try and offer a much more stable platform that isn't trying to rinse them, now's the time to do it. So we have moved the, ch the, the, the platform from Patreon over to Coffee. Coffee is a lot more streamlined. It's a lot more lightweight than Patreon. It, it basically is just a website that offers a direct line between channel and supporters. So instead of them taking fees, it's just it's just a direct connection. So, um, for example, if, if one of the supporters were to send a dollar to the channel, the channel would receive a dollar. It's very straightforward. So, again, go check that out. Uh, as always, I'm incredibly grateful to anybody who decides to support the channel because, as we've seen over the past week, YouTube is a strange, um, neurotic platform led by robots, which at a, a, a moment's notice can delete, say, for example, 14 videos, one of your thumbnails, and demonetize six videos overnight. Not saying that happened to me, but that did happen to me earlier in the week. Um, so, again, without the crowdfunding, we, we wouldn't have the channel. It's, it's very much quite simply that because I don't think anybody would want to work where overnight you suddenly stop getting paid. So that is always something that, that's going to be key to keeping this thing going. And again, I'm massively appreciative to, to everybody who has supported the channel in that regard. I'm massively appreciative to the, the people who have swapped over to the new platform. I have the new list available for Patreon for the month of August because of course that still will be active. I wanted to give everyone a month's notice to... Uh, Basically, let guys know with 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 advance notice that we would be shutting that down. So Patreon is going to be usual for this month. And obviously, feel free to go ahead and cancel that during the course of this month. And if you follow me over to the new platform, it will be much appreciated as always. In the meantime, oh, I haven't randomized my new list yet. Oh, we could do it alphabetical. That would be weird. Okay, I like it. Let's give a thank you to Alex, Alchemia, Amethyst, Corona, Angelo, Anthony Gawley, Arctic, Asana Kirito, Atmosis, Bacon Kit, Ben Hoflin, Blue the Bard, Boop, Bobka, Buen Gun, Chase, Chris, C-Mac, Commissar, Taj, Crane Fixer, Oregon, and Crow Skull for their support. The insane tier levels on Patreon for the final time over on Patreon. Big thank you to you guys for keeping the channel going. And thank you for supporting if you do choose to go over to, to Coffee. Thank you to... I haven't randomized this one either. What am I doing? Uh, okay, fine. Too alphabetical. This is extremely cursed. Thank you as well to Asaro, Adrian Eliasson, Arix81... Alex Bogard, Alexander H, Anka, Aramis, Archbishop, Astro, Ben Taylor, Betamus Max, Blood for the Blood God, Blood Riot, Brittany Lee, But I'm Homeless, Caron24, Kate, Cass, and all the other patrons as well, again, for their support at the final time over on Patreon. It's going to make it chaos to now randomize my list when I've already done names alphabetically. Oh, God. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow for... More reward, a bit of calm reward now that we've got, you know, hopefully some some fairly significant big changes going forward.